Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is Thursday in our household. Thursday in your household. We're getting closer and closer to the Christmas day. So, actually this video will post you. Yeah, I'm about a week behind, so it'll be next week for you guys. Getting closer, hopefully things are getting done. Thought I'd throw on my lights. I don't usually put on all my Christmas lights until later in the day. <laughs> so, I think someone said, your electric bill's probably sky high, but we literally, I like forget to turn those on and usually by nighttime I'm out of my kitchen so I don't turn them on but today I'm gonna be doing Christmas cookies I thought it'd be festive to have the lights on I should be decorated over here or turning the camera this way there we go <laughs> so got up today slept in a little bit more um got over there and got my list together things that I need to do today so I have my list it's just a just some odd and end things um last night we did the vacuum on the floor because there were so many little food things so I'm gonna start out right away and clean the floor with the Norwex mop I was like Ooh, I'm gonna be doing cookies today. I'm like, should I do that? Yeah, it's fine. Keep it clean. So I got to get household cleaning done on top of it, laundry, all those good things. So I got our memory board for the day. I had Autumn. I'm like, do you want to do the memory board or the memory board, the the letter board? And she's like, eh, I just don't know what. I said, Autumn, you're so good with things, and she didn't want to have one. So today I was listening to my um, Bible sermons this morning, and this, and then I got a couple emails from some of you. And uh, very blessed by your emails. Always write. If you feel led to write to me, write me an email. I love it. I love your words. I love your stories. Nothing is ever too silly to write. Nothing is ever ridiculous to write. It's good things. So today, this is our, our verse. It's from Mark. I like to look at Mark 9, 23. All things are possible to them who believe. And I thought about this a lot because faith and living a life of faith is not one that you just sit by and just go, okay, well, I'm just gonna let it happen, or I'm just gonna see what God does, or I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I guess God says that I'm healed, or God says that I don't have to have this. Okay, I'll just sit here and wait for it. No, we have to believe it, and when we believe it, we have to do it. And so, it's so important to seek God and have Him do what He wants you to do. Your life is gonna be different than my life, because we are in different situations, different places in the world, different relationship, different home things, things going on. So God is gonna have you do different things than he is gonna have me do. So don't look at my life and go, oh, I have to do that. Take what from my life about living in faith, but ask God what it is he has you to do. So some of you are dealing with some issues. Some of you are dealing with some crazy stress right now and things that are going on and just think that, oh, this is just what God's giving me right now. No, 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 God doesn't give you all the bad things. We know that from reading scripture that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to ruin your day, especially at Christmas time. Christmas time is a high time for everybody. Bring out depression and anxiety and stress. Why? The devil loves it. <laughs> because we're supposed to be celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, right? A good happy time, but it's turned into commercialized and garbage and everything else. And so we gotta take a step back and go, okay, what is it I have to do today, dear Lord? So I want all of you guys to take a few minutes after you watch this video or before, whenever, right now, pause it, and just say, all right, Lord, what is it you want me to do today in my life? Some of you, like for myself, this is my list for today, and this is from the Lord, and it's I know what I have to get done in my day. Your list might have two things, and it might just be spending time with my little babies, nursing them, changing diapers, and feeding them, and right there, that's it. That's not, that's it. That's a huge thing, because caring for your children, sometimes that's all you can do to get through your day. Maybe you need to take a nap today. Get a nap in today. All these things, find out what it is you need to do for your day to be productive, to, to make your life better, to make the people around you better. And like I said, it might just be a nap because you might be so tired because you're up all night with babies and kids and nursing kids. And the Lord wants you to be refreshed so you can be an example to your husband today when he gets home from work. I don't know which situation, but don't look and say, oh, I gotta do a million things like Amy. No, 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 I don't have little kids anymore. <laughs> My youngest is seven and they're pretty self-sufficient. I still have to be a parent, I still have to be a mom, I still have to do things. But my situation is a whole lot different than what yours is. I did not vlog when I had little kids at home. Oh no, I did my, my, my blog I did. And I did that, I started that when I had little kids. And you know why? Because I could do it when I could, which wasn't every day, wasn't like now, because I was so busy taking care of kids. If I would have vlogged back then, oh, this would be a crazy, this will be a crazy hot mess, as people say. <laughs> I don't even think I'd be able to do it. I know I wouldn't be able to do it because that was my priority then. 
life has changed. Kids grow up, things do get easier, mamas, and it will get better. <laughs> it's just right now you're in the mist. You're like changing diapers. That's all you're doing is nursing babies, changing diapers, cleaning up, putting for a nap, doing it again, 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 over every day. It feels like it's never gonna end. It does end. It gets better. I'm here to say I've made it through and I love my babies. I love my, not babies, I love my children. I love spending time and growing with them, but I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to be with them. So just remember, don't look at my life and go, oh gosh, I gotta do that. I gotta do 100 freezer meals today. No, you don't. I gotta make 100 cookies or I gotta make all these great treats. No, you do what you are supposed to do. And it might just be as simple as sweeping your floor today. I know, right? Whatever God wants you to do. Maybe he's putting on it. Maybe all, maybe you don't have little kids, but it still is overwhelming to get things done. Maybe there's one thing you wanna accomplish in your home today. Like maybe you're looking at your windows right now and you're like, they're so dirty. Mine are a little bit dirty. And then you know what? Get that one thing done today. Say, okay, at one o'clock today, I'm gonna get out of this chair and I'm gonna go clean two windows. Get two windows down. Two o'clock, okay, I'm gonna go clean two more windows or whatever. Set small goals for yourself and accomplish them today. Because why? Because we can do all things that are possible to them who believe. But you gotta believe that you can do it. You gotta say, okay, Lord, you're gonna give me the strength to do this and I'm gonna get it done just for today, focus on one day. Don't look about tomorrow. Don't worry about all the things that gotta be done because Christmas time brings a lot of things. I know even myself, I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta start thinking about presents because I have a lot of kids to buy for and that can get overwhelming. And I'm like, for a split second, I went, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I was like, stop, don't even worry about it. And that's why I took Monday and set and ordered everybody's presents, got that part done. Don't stress about things at all like that. Don't even think about it. If you got a, a list, if you have things you have to accomplish for Christmas, make a list of them. Sit down today, make a list of the things you wanna do, and then choose to do one today, and then look at the list again and go, okay, what can I not do? Mark that off your list. You don't have to do every single thing. Get those off your list, and you're gonna be good, yes? All right, so today, I'm gonna get going. Um, I'm waiting for my Christmas cards. I ordered my Christmas cards about a week and a half ago. They were supposed to be here, but something happened and we have a contract, FedEx has a contract with my little town and another little town, and I guess they dropped the contract like a week ago. <laughs> so they said they weren't gonna deliver to my area. I'm like, what? So I'm looking, I'm watching my updates, and so it says it should be delivered by today. I hope it is because it's Christmas cards. I wanna get those out to everybody, but we'll see. If not, I might have to drive or send my husband because it's over by his work, and so maybe he can go and pick them up at the facility, but I was like, why you can't, so I don't know, FedEx, FedEx everywhere else probably is fine, it's just my little town. I don't know, they just dropped the contract. They just didn't want to drive up these mountain roads. I can understand that. <laughs> I wouldn't want to drive up these mountain roads either. <laughs> so hopefully that will come today. Um, and so we're just gonna get going. I got to see the little elves, Lauren. Lauren, you are gonna miss these kids. She bought elf on the shelf cereal, yes, sugar cereal, for the kids. She's like, mom, look how cute that is. I'm like, okay, so she got this for the kids to have with their elf on the shelf today. I am going to today, I've got, um, what do I have to do today? Household cleanup, laundry, I gotta get my floor swept, and um, pay bills, which is always important. And I also have to do, um, oh, phone's beeping. I also have to do, I'm gonna make my cookies today for my cookie exchange on Saturday. And so what I'm gonna do is whoopie pies today. So I'm gonna make a whole lot of whoopie pies and then freeze them. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know, I might get motivated to make something else. We'll see how life goes, but we'll be pies, that'll take some time. So I'm gonna focus on that today. I gotta say, I think there's enough food in the refrigerator from yesterday's dinner, but I'm gonna double check and see. And then I'm looking, Steven's gotta get a haircut. That's on my list. Um, and that's, I'm looking else, I think that's it. Okay, that's easy day. And then my little chores, which are simple, easy chores. So are you guys ready for our day? It's Thursday, we're gonna get motivated. I don't know what your list is looking like today, but pick one thing if it seems overwhelming and do that today. Or make your list to see what you're supposed to do today so that you don't get overwhelmed. Your day should not be crazy. You should not be stressed. By the end of the day, you can be tired. You can be tired. Like last night, I was tired. I soaked, I soaked in the bathtub. I don't ever soak in the bathtub. And I was like, my body was sore. And the Lord reminded me, Amy, start exercising. And I was like, I know. <laughs> I don't like exercising. I need to get back on that. My back is sore and I'm like, wow, my back is getting sore again. I need to move, I need to exercise. Even though I'm moving on film, I'm not getting the exercise I need. So today, hopefully, it won't be freezing cold and we can go to the park just for a little bit today. That's one of my goals as well. 
see how the weather is. I can see it with my kids. They are running through the house like crazy last night and I was like, oh my goodness, but they haven't been outside because it's freezing. I get that. So my goal is to get everybody to the park today if it's not bitter cold, a simple goal. But again, reminding myself I need to do exercise. I need to move, get that body going because it's important to stay healthy so you can feel good and get what you need to get done. So. But again, at the end of your day, you should not be overwhelmed and it, you can be tired because you can have a good working day, but not stressed. You shouldn't just be like, ugh, my life is awful. No, your life is good. Find out what it is you're supposed to do. God says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God, when you become a believer, he doesn't shove a bunch of stuff on your life and say, here, figure this out. No, that's not how it works. He makes it easier to do by taking the burdens and the stress off. I think it's like a yoke. Think of like an oxen yoke. Instead of having it be awful, he takes it off to make it a lot easier and lighter so you can get accomplished what you need to accomplish in a day's time and have it go flaw, like you can have, I'm gonna say flawlessly, eas easily, that's a better word. It can go flawlessly if you're really in tune and you focus and really do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> but easily, so it's not stress, it's not burden. We don't want that. You want to be right in the perfect line of God. And trust me, you can be that way and it can be successful, prosperous, and good. But you got to do what he has you do so that you can have a peaceful day. Isn't that awesome to wake up with a smile each day and in the afternoon have that smile and by nighttime still have that joy inside of you? Like, wow, what a great day. It is possible. You just got to do it. So, all right, let's go, Amy. Okay, I'm going to go grab some laundry. Start a little laundry right now. Then probably, I don't know. We'll see what else we do. You guys ready for your day? All right, let's go. Okay, Colin picked this package up for me yesterday. It's from Israel, one of my um, viewers. We get packages and we get cards. I have so many Christmas cards for you guys. I thank you for those. I'm hoping to get my cards up soon here. So this, oh, look how fun. Oh my goodness. You know what they did? It says, Amy and all the amazing Mary and family. Greetings from Israel. I wanted to give you all a taste from Israel, so the best way I know how is through food. So, in order to help you understand what I said, I wrote down a quick menu. It's called menu. Here's a small challenge. Try to pronounce the names of the snack. I'll write it in English. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so I'm not gonna. It's so cool. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. I'm not gonna open this. Oh, I'm gonna let the kids do this. Oh, how fun is that? Look at it, look at all these. Okay, well this will be a fun thing for the kids to do today. They're all, look at how cool that. Oh, in addition to the snacks, you'll find two more bags. The first one is soaps made with olive oil in the golden height. 
And it says in the second bag, I thought you might be happy to get a little piece of where Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River and a small piece of olive tree from Bethlehem that you can hang on the Christmas tree and another little surprise or two. What? That is so cool. So this is, oh, these are so Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, those smell so good. These are made with olive oil. Look at those. Those smell so, so good. And then how, is this a eucalyptus? Let me see here. That is pretty cool. Oh, look at that little soap. Mmm, little soap pieces. That's wonderful. Look at that. The Galilee Baptismal Site on the Jordan River. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I think there any nice. I think it's a person's name. I think it's Osprey. O F R I. Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Look at this. From the Holy Land. The sacred object is made out of olive wood grown in Bethlehem, the place where our Lord was born. That's the wood. There's olive oil, there's the Jordan River water, the earth, and the incense. How cool is that? I had someone get me a prayer shower one time from the Holy Land. Um, and I think that was awesome. And I still cherish that. So this is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is the coolest thing. Thank you so much. Look at that. Wow, that's so neat. How cool. And the snacks. Oh, kids are going to love those. Wow, there's a lot in there. We're going to let them do that today. So, oh my goodness, thank you so much. That's very cool. Very cool. All right, I'm going to go move this over here for the kids. Okay, there's actually a little bit more inside the bag. There is a um, olive wood ornament. How cool is that? A bookmark because I need this for my Bible. And a little Israel, Israel, I want to say Israeli, Israel eraser. What an awesome gift. That is so cool. I love because you guys see my life and what I do here in America, in Western North Carolina. And it's so cool when you write and tell me about like you are. I know this person sent me pictures of what they see when they're driving and gorgeous, beautiful. Other place God has created a wonderful, beautiful earth. So, and now I get a little part of it. That is so cool. How awesome. The kids will be excited. We'll do a whole taste testing of these foods. That'll be a, such a fun day today. So, all right, I'm going to keep going. I'm excited. I've got to show Greg. He's getting out here in a minute. I'm going to show him how this is. squeeze and it pauses it. I have to remember. I love these. You guys need another gift? This isn't sponsored, but it's great. Get one of these little earbuds. Have your person. I have it in my Amazon store. That's the MPOW wireless earbud. It's literally bye husband. It's like I want to say it's $15. It might go up to like $19 because it's the holidays or whatever, but it was like $15, but they are so great. I love mine. I absolutely love mine. I have mine here to my laptop and I have one in my bedroom. So at night, I just put it in and I find my earbud in the morning and plug it back in. So I love it. <laughs> I hear you alarm. So get yourself, put that on your Christmas list, ladies. But the potpourri, if you don't have like, I put oranges, cinnamon sticks, cloves, the rosemary. Is that it? Yeah, I had like one cranberry. But if you don't have that, just sprinkle some cinnamon in a pot of water and let it boil. It makes all the difference, I promise you. I remember back in the day when I didn't, we didn't really have a lot and couldn't buy all those things. Just put some potpourri. Losing my, these things got me crazy. And so I just, uh, tape right here so just put some of that in a pot of water and let it boil it'll make it smell so nice even if you didn't have that you can actually just put vanilla extract I know in there and let it boil too all these things you know it makes it smell so much better so all right I'm gonna go ahead to my bedroom now because Greg is up and I'm gonna keep listening to my message and then I'm going to clean up my bathroom pick up my room so that can be done 
there. So we're moving. We're going to get this done. My goal is to get my cookies made this morning and I can be finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffee. Did you guys just see that? I literally just flopped laundry soap on my face. <laughs> Good. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me, it seems like you're dropping clues. I did not buy these. These came from Grandma, so I'm shooting them up. Okay, had to take Jaden for her job, but look at what this crazy phenomenon. I don't even know what this is called. I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at ice on my windshield. What is that? Okay, that's so weird. It was all dark for a minute. Yeah, it's frozen. It's showing. 26 degrees, I'm sure it's a lot more colder. So I should have turned the car on like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. So we're gonna sit here for a minute. And then we're gonna go and take Jade and drop off. She's working, and then I'm gonna go back in and finish up. There's not a whole lot more cleaning to do, which is good, just laundry. We clean the vacuums out, bed the animals. It's just gonna be an easy day making food. Make sure everybody's not gonna freeze to death in it. <laughs> it's so cool. Yes, it's cool. All right, so we're gonna go. All right, ran to the post office. I'm laughing. My um, mail lady said the box was too big to put in her Jeep. So I look, it is huge. It would not fit across. <laughs> I'm laughing because there's probably something super tiny in there. I feel like I know what it is, but I thought it wasn't going to be long, but that's a big box to ship something in. So, okay, we're going to go head home. All right, so I got home and I had to touch up little pieces of paint. So I grabbed my paintbrush out and just touched up. There's a couple of spots that got nicked when we did the floors. So I did that, put my paintbrushes back in the refrigerator. Love that. And now I have to do a haircut. That's something else on my list. So I threw, we only have two more loads of laundry, which is awesome. So that's going in. I'm having the kids take a bath now. So I have to do laundry tonight. So they're actually getting showers. Maddie's in first. Get her, I said eight minutes, so she's in. I'm gonna cut Steven's hair in here real quick. And then by the time he's done, he'll jump in the shower or the tub and get a tub. And then when he's done, then I'll put Autumn in and then we'll go back to Jensen. And then by that time, I'll have Freddie's laundry to throw in. So that is good. It's going really good today. So we'll have time to do lots of baking. All right, I am going to get my apron on. I had to wash my laundry soap, so don't mind the big stain on me. I'm like, oh, Amy, that was quite funny. I'm like, I'll keep that on here just to share with you that I'm human. Let me turn it this way, it's a little crooked. All right, I feel like that's crooked. There we go, that's why it's crooked. 
the legs are up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, we got everybody is getting baths and showers at 11 o'clock, that's good. But I got a haircut, that's the most important. Did my paint touch up? I had a few touch ups and paint in here where we had scraped it really hard, so I just touched up, no big deal. Got that. So now I'm done. The work is done, it's laundry, and I'm waiting for the kids for their, they're talking for their baths, and then they can um, throw in the wash, and I'll wash it. So now I'm gonna mix up my whoopie pies. I'm like, that's easy. I can start it going because I have to bake them all and then let them cool and then add the filling. So we're just gonna make a whole lot of whoopie pies. Whoopie pies are cream filled pies. If you um, can go to an Amish area or a Mennonite area, you will see a whoopie pie. And so it reminds me of a Suzy Q. And I remember, um, remember Suzy Q's like the rectangle ones from Hostess with the creamy filling. Ugh, so good. So I remember having one when I went there and then not many people have whoopie pies. So I'm like, that's a great thing to make. So I'm gonna make a whole lot of whoopie pies and then freeze them. Last year I made them for my cookie exchange, put some in the freezer, gave them away, and then like, I didn't even get one. I was like, who's stealing my whoopie pies? Cause they are so good. So I'm gonna um, make some of those right now, make a bunch of batches of those. And then I'm going to um, just set them on the table. I'm gonna put a bunch of parchment paper down. Or maybe I'll just do it up here on the counter. I'm gonna do it on the counter to make my life easier, so I have to sit down and I'll just make them all up here. So we're gonna do that right now. Kids are so excited to try the snacks. We'll do that this afternoon too. So we're gonna get going. Lunch is a lot of leftovers, dinner is leftovers. Another easy day, and we gotta get to the park. The sun's coming out, but it's freezing, so we'll go later on today. All right, all my recipes are on my blog, plainnotsoplain.com. Here is whoopie pies. We've been making these forever, so I'm gonna mix that up. Use shortening sugar, salt, vanilla, and eggs. I'll put it on the screen, and then um, mix. I'm gonna mix up my mixing bowl. Every time I use my mixer is when it's cookie time, so I'm gonna make a bunch of these. So we're gonna do that right now. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you. That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down All right, Brooklyn is doing her cookie. She's doing what? Peppermint dipped Oreos. Peppermint dipped Oreos, chocolate, chocolate Oreos. Oreos. So we are we got our, our flour mixture mixed up and then we made sour milk with vinegar and powdered milk. Yes, Brooklyn. So we're gonna add that in here. Probably have to do it two or three times the amount of camera. I feel like I made three times this amount to make enough for everybody, so we'll see. I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror All right, so I'm gonna sample, always when you're baking a whole lot of cookies, always test them out to make sure they're good. Brooklyn's doing chocolate right now, and she's like, it's super thick, and I said, add some shorty. You can add vegetable shorty to it or coconut oil, and it'll help like, thin out your chocolate a little bit for dipping, so. So it looks, is it too thick? Did it burn? I don't know. Oh, it burned, it burned the bottom, yep. But it, yep. it never melted. It burned, it only do a little bit less. Brooklyn ruined her whole first batch of chocolate. <laughs> It is, it's burned, let me see. Is that why, let me see. Yeah, ooh, feel the bottom, how hot that is? So you only do 30 seconds, and then you stir it really good, let me see. I think you burned. Oh, they're having chocolate cheese. Yeah, it's burned the bottom. That's why it's thick. Okay, so give us a smaller glass one. Very good, okay, burn our first batch of chocolate, see? How about you make my chocolate? <laughs> 
that's how you have to rinse it up. All right, so she's gonna do another batch of chocolate. I have three of the uh, whoopie pies in the oven to see what it looks like. I do not have a cookie scooper. I think I got broken the last time. So it's on my Christmas list, so we're gonna just do three, make sure it's good. I'm gonna have to use my fingers and make small ones, so that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so everybody's making Christmas cookies. So Brooklyn's, even though it didn't, it didn't really burn, we're using it for something else. <laughs> so the girls are making chocolate chip pretzels. It doesn't taste burn, but it was this just one's, a little bit thicker. This is called the star. So they're gonna do some pretzels. So that they actually taste good. They don't even taste burn. So maybe you probably could have used that Brooklyn, but I don't know. So this is the girls. This is Brooklyn's. Brooklyn's deciding to do. We start wanted to do a whole cookie and then it plopped, which I think I never remember doing. Thick, thick. So she's doing these. That looks really pretty. That looks festive. Very cute. Maxine's like, well, let me inside, Jensen. Can you let her in? Right, and then these are in the oven here. And these are baking over here. So it's looking good. So we're gonna have lots of cookies today. I'm excited. Good day. Okay, so I doubled, my cupboard's open, I doubled my batch and then I was like, oh, it'll fit. No, it didn't fit. So, then I had to wait till I got a bigger bowl, so I should have just did one at a time and been patient. So now I have it in my big giant bowl and I'm gonna mix this up real quick.
Okay, so we're making lots of cookies, getting them going. I was gonna run out, I'm thinking that I wasn't gonna have enough shortening. Can you believe I went through that entire container of shortening? You know what's in there, and white flour and sugar. So I was thinking, I'm like, wait a minute, because I tripled my recipe. That should give me plenty of cookies. But I had to have some for the frosting. I was like, that's not good. So what I did is I used all the rest of it. It was about, I needed about another half a cup, so I just stuck a stick of margarine in there. And it's okay, I was afraid it wasn't gonna be white, but it looks good. So this is just sugar and the shorty and a stick of um, fake butter. <laughs> so it stayed white. And then I use almond milk because, oops, over here, because I didn't, uh, I have some unsweetened stuff to use up. So we did this, this is a milk and flour. So I'm just cooling that by the window. And then what you're gonna do is mix that in with your frosting, you whip it really good. And then you add powdered sugar and some um, extract. So it's gonna be good. So now we're, whoops. So we are just, let me get the camera on. So it's good, so I'm just waiting on the cookies. So I finished that's what takes the time and I don't want to put too many in there because I don't want them to burn or be all off or anything. So, and then I just had this for lunch. It's a humongous bowl, but it's, you know, like the little salad bit mixes. I always have the Asian one or the chopped salad. There's another one, but this is Mediterranean salad. I got it at Walmart, I got it at Walmart. Good, it's really good. It's got feta and some pita chips. It's good tasting chopped salad. So I'm eating this for lunch on the big bowl. Lauren just got home. You must have had a Lauren. <laughs> sure, Mom. Sure, Lauren. Hey, Lauren, look at it. Hi. <laughs> Grab this way. Wait, the camera's on. There you go. I'll twist the camera. There we go. She just got home from working. And so she, one of her clients got her. And I'm like, this is cool. I want to show all her gifts. because she makes, she makes pottery. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this is cool. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's not interesting. Jesus. No, it's Jesus. But the manger seat. She's the story. I don't know the whole story. She has a little car that she's going to give me later. But it's basically she makes it and it's upright. And then once she puts it in the kiln, it goes and bends down. Like it's bowing. Isn't that cool? So it's just very pretty. That's pretty cool. I thought that was really neat. Bye. Brush. I thought that's cool. Yes. Very so fun. It's beautiful. Very, very good. Cool. I had to share with them. Okay, very we're good. still making cookies. We're doing cookies. That's what we're doing. Cookies. 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 It's it's good. Cookies. I know. I'm like, I have to do 120. What are these? My whoopie pies. You're making whoopie pies again. Whoopie pies, Lauren. Hi. What are you making, Lauren? Hi. What are you making, Lauren? Hi. Right now, I'm going to warm up pie time. <laughs> She's going to pad time. Okay, well, I'm gonna go finish cookies. Okay, so what you do is you whip that 10, sugar. 110. 110, good. What you do is whip that sugar and shortening. I added my, I added almond extract, you can add vanilla, and then I put in my flour mixture and whipped it, and now I'm gonna add 10 cups of powdered sugar. make that thicker so this is what a whoopie belly looks like that was a lot of frosting in here I'm like oh my goodness so I might even make mine thicker I think I'm going to so this is good and then I just wrap them and freeze them they're so good oh yeah mm. delicious oh yep I am gonna make that thicker because that's gonna be oozing out okay more powder sugar Okay, I just, I'm just calling all hands on deck and if the kids can help me real quick, we're gonna pull these whoopie pies out real quick. I'm gonna put some frosting, put a little sprinkles and wrap them up and be done so we get to the park.
Okay, so I put mine all in the freezer. Brooklyn is getting hers packed up. Okay, so my recipe that I have on my blog for my Philly, I doubled it. Yeah, do not double it. It was plenty of frosting. Just use, like, I tripled my batch of, I think I always remember to write this down, I never do. I tripled my batch of the whoopie pies, and I probably could have just did one batch of the frosting. That would have been plenty. I think I doubled it last time. Yeah, I did double it last time, but I have a lot of frosting. I'm going to see if I can freeze some. So we have, like, a ton of frosting left. Oh, yes. Let me show you how much frosting we have. Oh yeah, that was a lot of frosting. I'm sure a lot of you watched that video and was like, Amy, way too much frosting. So, <sighs> done. We'll put this in the fridge. I'm sure fat and flour and sugar doesn't go bad. So maybe we'll do some cookie decorator or something later on or cake decorator, who knows what. So I'm gonna wash these up real quick. We're gonna get out the door and get to the park so we can get out and run a little bit with the kids. And then we'll come back, heat up dinner, and we'll try the snacks. All right, so today has been a super busy day. It seems like it's been so busy lately. So what I'm gonna do is sit here and drink a glass of water really quick, or a thing of water, because I didn't have any water all day, which is horrible. I'm like, oh, that's why I'm like feeling tired. Drink some water. So I'm gonna drink some water real quick, look at comments, see if I have to respond to anything, and then, um, we're gonna go ahead to the park. I was gonna go pick up Brooklyn's glasses are in, but you know what? It's just way too busy. So I'm like, I'll just do that next week. I'll take her. So, all right, some answer comments, and then we're gonna go to the park. All right, mamas, and the last thing you wanna do is go exercise, you just gotta go do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm tired because I didn't drink any water today. And so I just feel just tired, but I just need to do exercise so I feel better. So we're gonna go walk. Okay, it's freezing cold. I don't even think we lasted 15 minutes, but we have a new, we have a skater girl now. Brooklyn is on her skateboard. Look at her go. She needs a new, oh, she needs a new one. We just bought the cheapy one at Target. But look, it is already worn out. So I told her, I said, you know what? I said, just use this one. See if you even like skateboarding. I do. And she does. So for anybody that's a skater pro out there. Skater pro. Give her one. <laughs> skater girl. <laughs> There's a song called Skater Girl. I think Avril Lavigne sang it. Avril Lavigne. <laughs> just a skater. Yeah. Or maybe a skater boy. I don't even know skater girl. Oh, skater okay. girl. I don't know. Anyways. What's the point? But anyways, if you guys are skater pros out there, if you know, she obviously wants to get a better skateboard. I'll have to get one from Zoomies. It's like a zoomies. Big so see if there's a better one than zoomies. So she's gonna she's gonna demonstrate her skating skills without going down. Uh, I'm like, you if you could go down the mountain over there, I said that's cool right there, but that's like that scary death. Like, that one's like easy. That's yeah, that's easy. Which one is that one because the turns are tough. Yeah, it's a little scary. So it's freezing. And then look at our poor little town. Our little our town. Poor little town. Our little town is in the middle of nowhere. But guess what they're putting in our town over there? Dollar General. A Dollar General. I just I watched. There is a YouTube channel that's like Southern. It's a southern thing and they talk about the Dollar General's going it everywhere. And so they are literally putting a Dollar General in right here across the park. The car matches our car. I'm like, that's so crazy. Oh, same one. So crazy. So yeah. We will have a Dollar General here, which will be different, but. What do you want me to do? Just ride to go the Go ahead, we're, we're just going to get you recording. There you just go. Ride to the so then you can see how great your progress is because we'll have it on YouTube. <laughs> there she goes. Bye bye. Good job, Brooklyn. Fantastic. Look at you. Look at that form. You're doing great. <laughs> Brooklyn, so good. Go. All right, then come back and I'll get you on the ground. Can you can't go back? Ready? Come back this way. That, that was our big skills yeah, for skateboard. <laughs> I'm like, it's too cold to even think of anything right now. Freezing. We're gonna go home because it's freezing right now. We got some exercise that's hot, man. Who's frozen? Me. Oh, it's so cold. My head hurts. So I'm kidding. Your head. I'm sure it does. Way too much sugar. So okay, we're gonna go head home now. It's now 42 degrees. We're here like probably five minutes. Love it. All right, so we're.
her back from the park. Lauren just called and she's like, so tonight's my last night with my kids. She's a nanny. She's like, do you think that they can come over and we can have like a fun party? I'm like, sure, we'll have a fun party. So we're gonna have them tonight. So I'm like, let's do our samples of food, which is really cool. These are from- Israel. Israel, wait, where's the other piece of paper? No, that's the only piece of box. Israel. It was really cute. Maddie just said to me, she said, is that how she looked at the writing? And she said, because she said, I, we were talking about where they're from. And uh, God, and so I said, that's where Jesus was from. And I said, he came and I said, over me? there in Hebrew. Yeah, I did. Like Hebrew. I, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Hebrew is the language right over there. I have to assume that's how that works. And so she said to me, she said, well, is this, she goes, is this how God writes? And I'm like, that's really cute. Yeah, I don't know. God, God, God does write this. He'll do all of that. So we're going to go through real fast and try these. These are really cool. So this is from Israel. So these are called, these ones are called Bamba. It's the ultimate Israeli snack, peanut butter flavor. It's one of the best sellers in Israel. I wonder if it's because this is the first snack we get as babies. Yeah, so we are going to try some baby. Bambas. Does that sound good, guys? This? We're going to go right in order. Let's try the candy corn. Okay. okay, so we'll do it. We'll go right here and then we'll try it like this. Yeah. All right, we're going to go right here. Ooh. I smell. Are they peanut butter? Okay, we try it. Ooh. Mm. It's like a cheese pop, but peanut butter. Mm. Peanut butter. What do you think? That's what the first snack was when the babies would get. They're clean. What do you think? Peanut no, butter? I like the inside because it tastes like a cheese ball. And yeah. You know how she loves cheese balls. You know how she loves cheese balls. <laughs> Is that good? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who likes Bamba? Me! I well, not me. Okay. I love Let's try the other one. Okay, I these do. ones are called. Try this. No, we're going right order. Those are like These are called taco chips. Basically, it's a potato snack, natural flavor, and a cool shape. It looks like a potato chip. Yeah, it looks like a regular potato chip. Yeah, it looks like a potato chip. I don't taste it. Oh, it does. Oh, it tastes just like one. It's like a potato chip. No, it's different. It's way different. It's like way saltier. It's saltier. Mm. It's better. Okay, so what do you think of the taco chips? Awesome. I like it. Tastes like a chip. I give it about five stars. Awesome. I give it like hundred stars. Oh, All right. Next one. Ruby's in a bar because she wants some too. Okay, these are called Bisley. This one is a grill flavor, and this too is one of the most loved and selling, best selling snacks. We're gonna find it. Ruby. Is that one that we might have to find it? Mm, that's interesting. Oh, they look like noodles. They look like a. Oh. Tastes like the Fritos. Remember the corkscrew Fritos? Maddie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maddie took the whole pile. What do you think? Do you like those? They're, they're, like, they're like the. They taste like smoke. Can I? Can I get them? They're okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I love it. What do you guys think? They're okay. I like those. I. I don't. I love them. I love them. Maddie, they taste like real things. All right, Ruby. Oh my goodness. All right. The next one is this big. Oh, look at this one. It says this is one kind of cracker and the one is with olives. So obviously olives are big of them. So crispy. Can I have this one next? Oh, we're gonna go right order this too. Ruby's gonna bark her head. These look like um I wanna try Ooh, these look yummy. These are olive crackers. Don't take all these. Shaketi Marok. It's an, it's an Israeli dish used to add flavor and texture to soup similar to croutons. Why is this product called? It's called mandel. In the past, Eastern European women used to make the soup mandel in an elliptical shape that resembled an almond. They also called the yellow and elliptical doughs almonds in Yiddish. Mm -hmm. Let's try them. Get this. They like the chips. I can still taste the almond. I know. The, the, it's very strong. I can still oh, taste these. that. Oh. They're like, look at, they're like mini. Like little pieces. Are they like peas? They're like little croutons. What? 
Oh, they're so oh. tiny. Oh, wow. Oh, they don't have so any much. flavor. They just are crazy. They add flavor and texture. So, do you add these to soup? So, I need to make some soup. Oh. Those are so tiny. Those are good. Mm, no. I don't taste anything. No, okay. okay, so. Thank you. I love all of them so far, and I know I'm Those are really good. What are those called? Okay, this is Pat. Oh, how do you think Coke Pat? Yes. Pazik Semen. It's English translation is a timeout or time for a break. Pazik Semen. Milk chocolate snack filled with waffle and nut cream. These look like little uh, waffle nut cream. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's one bar, so. I'll cut it. Sure. See? One bar. Prepare a futon oh, for this. Let me cut these for everybody. Ah, let me cut. Ah, it was close my eyeball. I didn't touch your eyeball. It almost did. Mommy almost. I have the feeling that that's going to slip. No, wait, make sure we save a little piece for daddy. Mom, I feel like it for Mom, everybody. Save Mom, I feel like you're. No, I'm going to try one. Oh, guys, don't take two. Have one. Okay, everybody try one. Uh, mm. Take one. Oh. Is this one they one? have a little texture of color. Did I get one? One for everybody. Oh, that's good. Mm. Mm. It's like a creamy. Like I like it. It's just like. It tastes like a Kit Kat with creamy. It's it? like fudge. It's like a that fudge on mom. A crunch bar, but with like it feels like carbs. It's next to mine. So we'll save some of these for a bit. Okay, this one is. I I don't like the um how there's lots of chocolate. Okay, this is teeny oh. a chocolate snack with rice puffs. It's first in sales in the chocolate bar segment, mm -hmm. over four million units per year. Mm -hmm. so four million. Oh, now you need five. All right, let's try one. Oh, that's crispy. Again, don't take it. Oh. Mm. It feels like a rice crispy. It is a chocolate. rice crispy. Mm. I like chocolate. A chocolate crispy. They're yummy. Because usually like a crackle crispy candy yeah. bar is more crispy. This is more chocolatey with more like rice krispies. You know what this it okay. looks like? It's it looks like a barley cheese. It probably looks like a barbie cheese. Okay, this is almond cream coated waffle snack. This mm -hmm. snack retains for many years the second place in the chocolate snack segment after the teamy. This is the second best. I can see that. Oh, look at that. Chocolate. Oh, I'm from Marlette. Oh, that's dark chocolate. Ooh, that's really dark chocolate. Three. Imagine snake eating chocolate. Oh, mm. did it kind of? Oh. Mm. All right. It's like a Kit Kat. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> it has a weird flavor, flavor at first. That might, that, I think that's still 100. It's almond. The texture's weird. It's almond, that's why they're like, they're like, ooh. No, but the texture is weird. awesome. That's it's like one of those waffly things. Yeah, it's got the texture's weird. All right, and then this one. Do you guys know what this says? This is, Kit Kat. It says Kit Kat. It's the same thing as Kit Kat. Milk chocolate coated. Let's see. Oh, I same. really like this. I like to any. Let's juice. see if this is the same. It looks like a Kit Kat. Look, see, they're like, just like... It's literally a Kit Kat, but it has a little it's smaller. Yeah. Let's see if it's Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Uh-huh. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Chocolate coins. Milk chocolate coins. It says, in Hanukkah, we have a custom to give the children money. We believe it is a good practice to give children Hanukkah money to teach them to increase many charity and good deeds and to add to the holiday festivities. That's mine. Okay, don't do it. Over the years, families with many children or families in not so good economic situations start to give chocolate coins to keep the tradition, but to make it more affordable. So. You guys can all have your own chocolate coin. How much? You can have your own coin. Look at that. Two. Well, it actually looks like. Look how fun Whoa, it is. Whoa, it feels just like a real coin. What? Open it. You want to open it now? I have a boat. Oh, wow. It's like a real coin. Look at that. It has like. Okay, Sean. Let me show the camera. This is a real chocolate coin. Can I have water? Wait, this is actually real tin foil. And this is colored tin foil. It's like a real tin foil. I don't know. I'm going to open the coin. I can't open one of these in a long time. Chocolate tastes like chocolate? Oh. I don't like this. It tastes like peppermint. It's a peppermint? Yeah. 
Yeah. Too bad he didn't like peppermint. And that. Oh, yeah, it's mint. Yeah, Benny doesn't like mint. Oh, it's mint. That's okay, I have to like this. Now, this I'm anxious. This is called the Halva. It's a sweet version of the tahini. Comes in a variety of flavors. This one is vanilla flavor. Tahini, it says it made 50% raw tahini. Now, tahini is tahini butter, which is made from sesame So, I'm anxious to see what this tastes like. You guys are Benny's like, it's not peppermint. Good. Jess is like, can you send me some spices? That was not covered. My birthday soon. Yeah, sure. Oh, it smells like. I can't smell anything. You tell me how to step in your mouth. Oh, okay, different. I'm saying like a cracker. Thank you. What? It's like peanut butter. Then they're like sand. Okay, so it's peanut it's butter. tahini. It's like sand. <laughs> that, that's not my favorite. But. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing I've heard that would eat it. Mm -hmm. The last thing I've heard that would die with it. Okay. Favorite would have to be what? Um, the Kit Kat and the chocolate ones. These are pretty good. The potato chips. Kit Kat and chocolate ones. Kit Kat and potato chips. And those little rice things. And these olive ones are good. I like olive. Lauren will like these. I want everybody to have some. Okay. Okay, so real fast. What did you guys think of Israel food? Good. Oh, yes. I like some. If we ever go there, we'll be able to grab a snack and be like, I know what that tastes like. It tastes like olives, or that tastes like tea. Yeah. It tastes like peppermint. If we go to Israel, it tastes like water. Because it's water. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, all right, we're going to clean this up. I'm going to save some because Lauren, Jane's not here and Lauren's not here. And Greg and I want them to try some of that too. So, thank you. It's Offrey. I think it's Offrey. I'm pretty sure that's how you say your name. Hopefully, that's how you say it. So, I thank you. I based on the potato chips. So, we thank you because that's awesome. That was fun to try. So, okay, we're going to go. All right, so what a good day. Oh, my goodness. I, you know what? I feel I feel a whole lot better in getting out going to the park. That was huge for me. I I was just telling my husband yesterday, I'm like, I am tired. I'm really tired. I still get up at five, but I'm still a little tired this weekend. Last week, we had, I mean, we had people here and was busy, but I was like, I realize it's because I'm not exercising. So I'm like, I definitely need to do these straps. I should just cut these off, right? Just cut them off. Sorry. So I'm realizing I just need to do that. So we went, it wasn't even 15 minutes. I don't think it was freezing, but we did it. So that's all that matters. So I'm going to do, I'm just like thinking, what else should I do for food? I still have that ham beans and macaroni salad, but there's not like tons. So I'm gonna do toad in a hole. Cause everybody loves toad in a hole. And if, yeah. except for Autumn, but she can have the other stuff. So I'm thinking toad in a hole and then that way the kids can eat it. And then if Lauren's kids want toad, cause they'll be like, oh, we're gonna go to Miss Amy's and have toad in a hole. You know, cause nobody has toad in the hole for dinner, but we do. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get that out. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so this is a super easy dinner to do. It'll be great. Put a little bacon in there. You put cheese on it. I'm gonna go get some cheese on top too. I actually have to push record and start recording and talk at the same time. Oh, look at Maxine. Maxine, CP? So CP, are you laying in a rug? How come a rug and not your comfy bed? How come that's your bed that got you? She's like, the floor is good. Oh, I said, I said, mommy, I got your bed. I'm sorry. You're waiting for food, I think, aren't you? She's like, yes. It's so much fun. They're having fun playing. 
he was a little boy saw my camera he's like you guys have a youtube channel right he's like i was gonna subscribe but i did it i'm like that's okay I'm, he's literally eight years old i'm like i just cook and clean it's so good so so much fun so this is dinner this is what we're gonna eat when they're ready to eat the kids are gonna play right now i'm gonna close this video so that i can start working on it um and editing it editing it and then um we're gonna have a good night tonight i'm gonna i have my little list i didn't really finish my list I mean, it was more of a my list, so I'm basically gonna work on thumbnails tonight. I am going to work on get my husband my my Christmas list because he's like, honey, I need my list, pay some bills, and that's it. So I'm gonna do that today at the laptop while I'm working on editing this. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to get out the door early. I have a dentist appointment to fix my tooth finally, so I'm excited for that. You know, dentist, yay! No, it's a good thing. Go to the dentist if you can. Um, but it's gonna snow overnight supposed to snow and drizzle we'll see if it happens and so we'll hope for not because I gotta let it thaw before I go anywhere so we will see so I hope you enjoyed this video of everything we did today I am cookied out oh if you guys need frosting you see that big green container right there right you guys can come to my house and get a whole big container of frosting <laughs> all right we'll see you guys tomorrow all right bye